morning y'all so we're back on the bus i made my list for home depot and i will be heading over there in a while but first things first i wanted to frame out this window just to get it done since i'm at the house what i'm gonna do is like i said before yesterday i'm gonna just crop out the whole thing so i'm gonna put a two by two here here and along here and just make it a solid square uh so yeah let's make some measurements and go cut out these two by twos 16 and a quarter this one's 25 so that'll work i tried to make the other ones work and it was working but this one was way too much to the side so then i just made this one and it went all the way through and it's perfect so I did this for you, so I'm gonna do it again on the other side, and basically, I'm just gonna go in and then start going down. And what I'm basically doing is making sure that it's going towards the middle of the wood first, and then once I get closer to the inside of the wood, I don't wanna hit the table, so I kinda bring it to the edge of the table. And once I see the hole on the other side, I know we are good to go, so, yeah, freehand pocket hole, yay. So now that it's pocket hole on both sides, I'm going to go uh, to the bus and screw it in. So first let's see a prime example of what it's supposed to look like. So you see how this is literally like the furthest it can go. That's perfect. Some of the other windows, let me show you what it's not supposed to do. Kind of gap because it won't stay up all the way, which is fine. Like I just need to push it up. They can work and actually do it, but uh, they just fall sometimes. But yeah, so you see how this is, has a gap or whatever, but it should be like that. That's where it's saying that's where it should be. So just in case i really want to seal it up even though looking in there it doesn't look like anything I, I can't see the other side like i can on the other window so who knows again just for extra precaution i might just seal this gap up 